anyways yo welcome back to another video um today it's a simple one guys i'm gonna show you guys how to do position change trading all right or position modifying trading so what that means is uh, we're gonna take players for example on the screen you guys see renato sanchez right um so obviously normally he's like a center mid when he comes out right so i'm gonna take a look um, just to show you guys, as a center mid, Renato right now is about, you can see, 15k, give or take, right? So it seems like you can get him for about 14,000 on the market. Now, what we're going to do is change him to a forward and see how much the lowest one on the market is as a forward. So it seems like 19,000 is the one that, that is the cheapest on the market, obviously, with as a forward. <clears throat> so what do we do? Um, basically, what you want to do is buy one that's a forward, so, you know, change to either a center forward or striker. Um, which we know sells for that 19,000, um, but except we're gonna undercut. So, say you snipe one, we're gonna list it for 18,750. However, what you're gonna want to do is actually get it for the uh, obviously the normal price. So, you're gonna put it on forward, um, go to the max buy now, set it to a point where it's like not too expensive. Keep in mind 5% tax, so maybe 16.7. You're just gonna snipe. If anything pops up, we know that he will sell at 18,750 as of the second. Um, so, you know, this is more like a, for, you know, only about 2,000 coins profit. So this method is definitely for my dudes who need, um, who need, you know, have, who have a low budget but want to make coins. I'm going to show you guys another uh, example. We're going to look up Correa um, from Atletico. So let's take a look. I think he's only like 3K or something right now. Um, no, so it seems like he's about 3.5K, uh, 3.6K, you know, as his normal possession as a striker. Now we're gonna, since he is normally a striker, we're gonna look at him as a midfielder and see what the lowest one on the market is. As you guys can see, it seems like he is about 4.9K. So 4.9K doesn't seem to be selling. These two probably will because they have hunters. What you're gonna wanna do is buy him once again at the non-change position price. So take that off. Uh, once again, I believe it was like 3,600. So you wanna buy him at this price. Obviously you can change it up a little bit, maybe like 4K max. Once again, put it on midfielder, and then snipe, snipe, snipe. You know that if anything pops, to buy it right away without even thinking, because the next lowest that is a midfielder on the market is about, what, 4.9K? So once again, you'll, be, you'll make about 800, 900 coins if you even pay that 4K. Usually, they should pop up for about market price, so you should get them for like 3.6, 3.7. Um, this method literally works. We'll try one more player. We'll try Marshall, you know, from uh, obviously United. So let's see. Um, Marshall right now on the market as a normal card is about 6.8 you know we can see him in the high sixes um seems like he's about 6800 right now we're going to change it to a midfield uh midfielder and see so the lowest you see on the market is 7400 that one should go very soon uh 7600 honestly can go as well and then from there you guys can see the next lowest is like 7900 so if i cite one say a marshall at normal market price Right, say I got him for 6.6k, I'd probably put him up for like 7.7 .7 to 8k. Um, you're not going to make a lot, you're going to make about 800 to 1k. Like I said, um, this works for literally any outfielders that are midfielders and above, so obviously center backs, cards that you can't really change position doesn't really work. With full backs, I, at some points in the year, you know, it does work um, to a degree, but me, uh, I personally just like to work with the midfielders and above. Uh, maybe a guy like him, you know, if you change him, if you get one as a left back, maybe someone pays a little extra. But those I don't even think is worth the time. But yeah, guys, once again, man, this is a low budget trading method, all right? So if you're a millionaire, if you're, you know, if you even have a couple hundred thousand, uh, in my opinion, this method is not for you. Chem style method is better, uh, more, effect, uh, more efficient. Um, however, people do ask me and wonder, what is position change um, trading? Um, so you guys see it. It is not my favorite once again. All right I'm just gonna uh, show you guys just to give you an extra option uh, If the other methods are not working for you guys But uh, hope this helped you guys out a little bit if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments Or you know come to my stream twitch.tv slash real when you guys can ask me there and I got you guys But uh, yeah this week boys. I will literally be doing how-to videos um, for each trading method got how to icon trade coming up how to silver trade etc etc we got many 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 more to come so make sure you guys subscribe. I hope this helped you guys a little bit. And uh, drop a like and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.